Our region's business is sponsored by PNC for the achiever in you. Our region's business. Innovation, transformation, momentum. Improving our communities and driving technologies that will shape our region for generations. The collaboration that brings vitality, prosperity, and life to living. Stay with us for the coming half hour as we examine in depth our region's business. Now, here's your host, Bill Flanagan. Today on our region's business, the scary success of Spectre Studios and why Halloween's the company's favorite time of year. Plus, geeks on a mission, students setting off from our region to solve big challenges in developing countries. But first, talk about taking coal to Newcastle. Westinghouse Electric has inked a memo of understanding with a couple of partners that could eventually bring commercial nuclear power to Saudi Arabia. Why? Well, that's likely to be one of the topics of conversation at the upcoming American Middle East Institute Business Conference in Pittsburgh. Simon Yazdegerdi Curtis is back with us. She's president and CEO of the American Middle East Institute. Randy Gaum is vice president of nuclear power plants with the Westinghouse Electric Company. Good to have you here. Good to have you back, Simon. Thank you. Glad to be here. So you got a big event coming up a little, uh, toward the end of October, right? We do. It's our sixth annual business conference. It's going to be on energy and water because there's so much happening in this region uh, in energy, um, in nuclear energy and in uh, shale gas. Um, uh, and water, innovations in water. And then in the evening, we'll have Colin Powell and Governor Corbett um, uh, as our special guests. And it will be a wonderful affair. Wow, that's really great. And there is a lot happening here. And, and there is a real, and Randy, I guess you know, you're certainly aware of this, a real nexus between energy and water. You kind of can't do one without the other. Right? Yeah, that's right. So uh, what, tell me a little bit about Westinghouse in Saudi Arabia. It seems unlikely for one of the most energy rich companies, uh, countries in the world to even entertain the idea of needing nuclear power. Well, uh, in Saudi Arabia and in the Middle East in general, these countries want to protect their valuable crude assets or oil assets f and not use it for internal generation. So they want to have alternate green sources of energy. So they're looking at renewable, solar, and obviously nuclear fits in there as well. Now that's really fascinating. So they really view the the, the oil in the ground and I guess the gas in the ground is an asset that they can make a lot more money selling they, than using internally? Yes, they can make a lot more money selling it than they can using it for internal consumption. So they want to continue the exports and so they're looking to develop a nuclear program, possibly 16 gigawatts of power by 2030. So they have a very aggressive program that's uh, expected to pick up the pace next year. So tell me a little bit about the, the group that's gotten together to, 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 to pursue the opportunity. Well, we teamed with uh, Toshiba, which is our uh, majority owner and Exelon who's a world-class leader in operating plants a fleet of nuclear plants in the US and we're partnered with them to develop a project uh, from soup to nuts in Saudi Arabia now it's already a done deal in Saudi Arabia no, are you all no, you're, it's you're making a, a pitch it's, a, it's, a, it's a proposal it's going to be working together to uh, put a proposal into the Saudis probably in the next a year to 18 months and uh, and it'll be to, to do a whole EPC contract including operations and maintenance and all the things because they don't have a nuclear infrastructure in Saudi yet. They need a whole turnkey. You've they got need, to, you got to be able to supply it all. They right? need everything, yes. Yeah, build it, operate it, the whole nine yards. That's correct. Yeah, yeah I mean, you you, ha you hosted a, a delegation from Saudi Arabia not long ago, Sim, and I, because the, the Westinghouse folks participated in that, tied to that Roads of Arabia. Yes, oh, it was, Museum, it was spectacular. Right? And you know, the Roads of Arabia is still on exhibit at the Carnegie Museum of Natural History, but we had the son of the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia here, um, Prince Sultan, and he was, he was such a big deal. We, we were, there were like cameras <laughs> clicking like crazy. Um, and he came to do the grand opening and uh, Westinghouse also participated. And uh, we had a number of businesses that were uh, supporting uh, this grand opening. And as I say, you can still, it's available. Uh, you can see it until November 3rd. Well, and it's fascinating. It's absolutely worth a visit. I mean, there's just some amazing history there. And these kinds of connections really help when you're in, a, in the global energy business? Absolutely. We're, we're pleased to be a sponsor of the conference coming up. Uh, the components of, of business, education, and culture that the uh, American Middle East Institute has, those provide tremendous opportunity for growth in both regions of the world, quite frankly. Yeah. Us being housed in western Pennsylvania and also uh, in the Middle East, it can provide opportunities for jobs and for growth in, in both areas. Well, yeah, you talk about trying to do a deal in Saudi Arabia. Is it, it, does it come down to being uh, more than just the numbers? I mean, do these relationships play a big part? A absolutely. We, uh, absolutely. Relationships are very key to Saudi Arabia. We, we've been told 
by, by many people, it's, it's gifts first, then you become friends, and then you do business. Mm -hmm. And so that's, that's a little different than what we've done in Western cultures. That's, uh, that's interesting. Yeah, I just wonder how the Saudis have reacted to, to, to their experiences here. Oh, I think they, they love coming to Pittsburgh. Uh, we most often, um, Middle Easterners are, have visited New York or Washington. Maybe they'll go out to California or they'll go to Disney World. But we bring them to Pittsburgh and here we are in the heartland and we can show them so many things. They can go and see advanced manufacturing. They can visit uh, a Westinghouse or they can go to an Alcoa Technical Center. There are so many things that they can see and they're always invariably just taken aback by the beauty of the city city and all the, the buzz that's going on here with technology and our, our research universities. We, Pittsburgh's a perfect place to build these kind of relationships. They love being invited here. That's really cool. What, what's the timing, do you think, on being able to formulate? I imagine this is a big proposal for something of the scale of this kind of a project. Yeah. When the king decrees they want to move forward, it's going to move pretty quickly. So okay. we're anticipating at the beginning of uh, 2014, it's going to start in earnest, and it could take a year, year and a half to, to get through the process, but they want, to, they want to start to have energy online in the early 2020s in, in Saudi. Okay, so that's the timer. If they're going to get going early in we've, the next decade, they got to get going We've now, got to get right? going now. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, a little bit more about the conference, as you mentioned, Colin Powell. Now, you can buy tickets or participate in either or or both of these events, right? The business That's conference right. earlier in the day and then the Colin Powell That's right. governor you can event at night. Business, uh, tickets to the business conference at the Fairmont are sold separately, and then there's tickets to the Colin Powell lecture at Carnegie Music Hall. So you can see it on our website, AmericanMEI.org. AmericanMEI.org. Uh, or, or show clicks. Or show clicks You can now. get Good. the tickets on show clicks. And date again? October 29th. That's October a Tuesday. October 29th, the Tuesday. Well, Sim and Curtis from the American Middle East Institute, Randy Gaughan from Westinghouse, thank you both so much. Have a great conference. Good luck with the Saudis. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Next up, Geeks on a Mission to the World from our region. Stay with us. <laughs>